Hey there students, I'm on this group. We're going to be going over some examples on how to solve uh, linear inequalities and also how to graph the resulting solution, okay? So, uh, you can write down the title of the note. So, we'll solving and graphing linear inequalities, alright? So, um, so, the instruction for the notes are as follows. Um, solve Solve each inequality. Solve each inequality. Graph the solution. Now the solution on a number line. Okay. All right. So that's um, what we're going to be doing. All right. Let's start out with question number one. We have the inequality 7 minus x over 3 is greater than or equal to 5. Alright, so we're going to try and get x by itself. Now, notice when you're solving um, linear inequalities, it's just as though you're solving an equation. Alright, the only difference is that whenever you divide by negative, the inequality symbol flips in direction, okay? That's the only difference from an equation. Alright, so to get x by itself, we're going to start from the outermost and go in. So we're going to start from 7, get rid of this minus, and then the 3, all right? So to get rid of this 7, since it is a positive 7, we are going to subtract 7 from both sides, all right? So 7 minus 7, uh, 0, that goes away. And we have negative x over 3 is greater than or equal to 5 minus 7. So the signs are different. Uh, you subtract and keep the sign of the bigger one, okay? 5 is positive, 7 is negative, so you subtract, you get 2. The bigger one is negative, so you keep the sign of the bigger. Alright? Now, I want to get rid of this negative and this 3. Can I get rid of both of them in the same step? Absolutely. So check this out. I'm going to multiply both sides by negative 3 over 1. Okay? Multiply both sides by negative 3 over 1. Why did I choose that? Because we have a 3 in the denominator. Here, if I put through the numerator here, it'll go to uh, cross reduce. And yeah, if I have a negative here, if I multiply by negative, minus times the minus is a plus. So you can always eliminate coefficients and the signs simultaneously. All right? Uh, if this is too co complex for you, you can do them one by one, you get the same answer. All right? So minus times minus is plus, slash and dash, like I said earlier. Three goes here, one. Three goes here, one. So on the left side, you have x. Now, since you multiply by a negative, the inequality has to be reflected. Okay, so it's less than or equal to minus times minus, slash and dash again, less than or equal to 6. Okay? All right, let's go ahead and graph that on the number line. X is less than or equal to 6. I'm graphing numbers like this on a number line. Just pull the direction of the inequality symbol. That's the easiest way to do it. Nothing complicated about that. So we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Alright, so we have open circle pointing to the left since it's less than, right? So that's the inequality. Less than means it points, it points to the left, okay? Now, what does this line over here indicate? It indicates that 6 is also part of the solution set. So we have to fill in this open circle because of that line that you have under the inequality, okay? So the less than is the open circle going left. The equal to this line right here indicates that you have to fill in this circle. So there goes the solution um, of your graph. All right? Okay, uh, let's move on to question number two. So if we have the problem um, 20h plus 40 is less than um, 9 h minus um, minus 17. Okay? Alright, let's go ahead and do this one. Uh, so to do this, first thing we need to do is we need to get uh, all the all the h's on the same side. Alright? Um, let's make this 19. 19 h. Okay. So, I need the H's on one side and I need the numbers on the other side. I like to have the H's on the left side and the numbers on the right side. So to accomplish that, 
This 40 needs to go to the left side, so I'm going to subtract 40 from both sides. Subtract 40. That's a number, so I can put it under here. And this 19H needs to go to the right, so at the same time, I can simultaneously subtract 19H from both sides. There's no need to do this in two steps if you can do it in one, all right? So the two, the terms I just introduced to both sides of this equation is going to help me move the variables to one side and the numbers to the other side, okay? So let's work out the uh, arithmetic. So 20 minus 19 is just H. These are opposites, so they add up to zero. Inequality stays the same because you did not divide by negative. These ones add up to zero since they're opposites. Minus 17 minus 40 is negative 57. So let me write the answer in a much more concise form. H is less than negative 57. Okay? So let's grab that to the number line. Obviously, I can scale all the way up to negative 57, so I'm going to make it a huge leap. Okay? So I'm just going to call it a zero, and I'm going to call that 57. Oh, wow. What am I doing? It's negative. So since it's negative, we're going to go the other direction. This is 0, and here is negative 57 to the left of 0. So it's going to be an open circle, and the arrow is going to be pointing to the left, since it's less than. Okay? Do I fill in the circle here? Absolutely not. You do not have a line under this inequality, so your circle stays open. All right, so there goes the solution, and there goes the graph. All right, let's move on to another example. Example three. Uh, what if we're supposed to solve and graph the uh, inequality negative five um, times times two x plus three um, is less than and less than uh, 10x. No, let's make it uh, 5x. Okay, less than 5x. Alright, let's do this. So, to do this, first, what we need to do is get rid of that parenthesis. So, to accomplish that, I'll just distribute this negative 5 to this term and that term. Okay, so uh, uh, minus 5 times 2x is negative 10x. Minus 5 times positive 3 is negative 15. And that's less than 5x. Alright? Okay, so uh, now I'm going to move the 10x to the right. Or I can or I can move the 5x to the left. But how about I move the 5x to the left and move the negative 15 to the right? Okay? That will save me some work. So to do that, or you can do the other way, it makes no difference. Okay? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to subtract 5x from both sides. That's going to move my 5x to the left. And then I'm going to add 15 to both sides. Do the opposite of this negative 15. That will move the 15 to the right. Okay? When you combine both of them, we're going to notice that we'll have the variables on one side and the numbers on the other side. All right? So we're going to have um, negative 15x. These are opposites, so they add up to 0. The less than. These are negative opposites, so they add up to 0 less than 15, okay? So now to finish this up, I need x isolated, so I divide the first time by negative 15, and the second time by negative 15, all right? So negative 15, negative 15 divided by negative 15, you just up with x. Since we divide it by negative, we invert the inequality to greater than 15 over negative 15 is negative 1, okay? Positive over negative is negative, okay? Remember, anytime you divide different signs, you always have a negative. If you divide the same signs, you always have a positive, all right? So there goes your answer. Now, let's go ahead and sketch the graph of this uh, inequality. X is greater than um, negative 1. So, we have a 0. Since we're going negative, we're going to go to the left. It's negative 1. So, we have open circle. Greater than points to the right, uh, so it's going to be this one right here, there, okay? Now, um, should I fill in the circle? Absolutely not, because you don't have a line here, so you just leave it open and it goes to the right. 
greater than. All right, so there goes this, the graph of your solution set. All right, let's move on to the next question, example number four. Example four. In this case, we have um, three times two minus x is less than ten minus three times x minus six. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and solve this. Um, to start out, I need to get rid of the parentheses. You're just making the problem look really complicated. So I'm going to distribute. Anytime you have parentheses, you distribute. Uh, the term outside to the terms on the inside, okay? Because you have like a times right here and a times right here, so I'm going to distribute. All right, so upon distribution, I'm going to have 6 minus 3x has less than 10 minus 3x. Minus 3 times x is minus 3x. Minus 3 times uh, 6 is positive 18, okay? All right, now let's simplify a little bit further by combining like terms on the right side. I can combine 10 and 18. So I have negative 3x, positive 10 plus 18 is going to be positive 28. Same sign, so you add and keep the sign. All right, now um, to uh, finish this up, I need the x's on one side and I need the numbers on the other side. So to get the x's on one side, I'm going to add 3x to both sides. Add 3x, add 3x. This will move the x from the right to the left. And then I'll subtract 6. Subtract 6. And then what is going to happen? These are opposites. They cancel out. Uh oh. These are opposites too, so you cancel out to 0. They add up to 0. And here, these ones add up to 0. And these two add up to, you since your signs are different, you subtract, keep the sign of the bigger one. This is positive 22. Alright? So the variables are gone. So we're either going to have infinitely many solutions or no solution. So the question is, is this a true statement? Is 0 less than 22? This is true, right? If you have no money, you have less money than someone who has $22 in your account. So this is true. Since you have no variable here and a true statement, you have infinitely, infinitely many solutions. Okay, that, this basically means that um, any number you pick, you put it here, it's going to work, right? If you put one, two, three, regardless of what you put, um, it's going to work. So if I wanted to graph this, uh, infinitely many solutions, if I have a number line, uh, how, will I, how will I indicate that everything on the number line works? Well, that's not too difficult. All I just do is I'm just going to create a number line. My solution set is going to span the entire number line and how to how do I indicate that? How do I indicate that my solution set is spanning the, ent the entire number line? I just draw a line segment, and then I put an arrow on both ends. Okay? This means it goes to the left forever. This means it goes to the right forever. So the entire number line works for um, this solution right here. All right, so thanks so much for paying attention to this uh, presentation. Uh, you can subscribe just by clicking up here. Um, feel free to share this video with your friends via Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. You can also request um, math videos if you need help with some concepts. More clips can be found on mathbuildserve.com. Thanks again, and have a wonderful day.